Hi, and welcome. It's Jim from F Star Reserve Tree. Guys, we only have 14 months left till we get to that theoretical mark 40 degrees. That is a total migration of 40 degrees over the Northern Hemisphere since the 1900s. And it was based on some experiments done by myself here at the observatory, uh, which suggest that we should be entering in 14 months time those uh, weak field lines. It's at the 40 degree mark where we should pass from the strong field lines which anchor uh, the magnetic north pole in a slow rate of migration and then when we surpass that 40 degree mark we should go into the weak field lines and then begin to see some rapid acceleration of the poles if the theory and the experiments conducted by ourselves here are correct. So we are only 14 months away now from that. As you can see, there is 73 miles left to go. And if we continue on the average of five miles every month, like we've been seeing of migration, we should arrive there in March, 2023. It is incredible, isn't it? That we have arrived at a point in time where we are almost about to see something probably very dramatic if the theoretic um, you know, experiments are repeated as the Earth goes through its magnetic reversal. If they are correct, we should be entering those weak field lines around that 40 degree mark, which is only 73 miles away, 14 months away. So... Uh, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to all the people that have been supporting us um, whilst we monitor one of the rarest anomalies ever recorded by humans. Human beings have never gone through a completed magnetic reversal before. We wasn't here 780,000 years ago, so you know we certainly didn't record it and we wasn't here to do that or know what happened. Does a magnetic reversal lead to possible extinctions of animals in the past? Will we survive a magnetic reversal? We don't know because we just simply have never been through one. One thing for sure though is that when we start to enter those weak field lines, our magnetosphere will start to reduce in field strength and that means our primary protection from cosmic rays will start to slowly shut down and weaken. That means we could see more cancer rates increase, we could see more heart attacks because we know that these cosmic rays uh, lead to cos um, uh, cardiac arrhythmosis. So, you know, it is a really important time that we are in right now and we are ever more closer than we ever have been and over the next 14 months it's just going to be one of those things to see you know what goes on from that point on it will be a very exciting time in another uh, 14 months you know if we start to see a massive uptick in the speed of migration of the magnetic north pole because no other scientist has theoretically suggested that this earth acts just like you know experiments conducted with magnets and compasses but that is exactly what we found in the experiments that when um, a magnet is turned in the vicinity of a compass it gets to around 40 degrees and then rapidly flips over so there's no real reason why it shouldn't act the same on the earth we're we'll about to see whether this is true or not. Um, I want to say a big thank you to all those people that have been supporting us. I want to also mention that if you would like to support this, I think, very important work, I think you'll agree with us. Um, you know, there's a link down there in the description. And I wanted to ask um, if you are in Russia, Central Russia, or you know somebody that lives in Central Russia that would like to house one of our magnetometers, I've got one ready to dispatch it's not very hard all you have to do 
is press a reset button once you've plugged it into the power source which we can get for you and um, you know once a month take the SD card out of the magnetometer and send us that data to the email address and we'll process it and put all that up on the website but I think now more than ever would be a really interesting time to get one of our magnetometers into Russia I know we've tried before and we've asked before so there's you know no real reason uh, why we can't achieve that we just need someone to come forward and show an interest in the research that we're doing and take part of that and if we can secure that one I really would love to get it into Russia first if we can then secure one in Brazil we have all the corners covered of where the highest and lowest intensities of magnetism are on our planet but I really would love to get one into Russia because that is as I believe the epicenter of you know the main magnetic intensity on our planet right now so to get one into Russia would be amazing but the data that we could get back out of that would also be you know amazing so guys we are just 14 months away March next year and we could begin to see things get very exciting from that point on so I just thought it'd be worth you know telling you guys about that keeping you informed of where we are and how far we are uh, we have left to go to that all important mark um, so yeah if you know someone in Russia or you yourselves are in Russia or you have family members there and they you know and they would like to um, help us collect some data on the magnetic intensity over Russia that would be great um, get in touch with me um, and if you want to help support us uh, with this research uh, there's a link down there in the description you know I think now is the time that we should start seeing a little bit more support come from more people and that would be great and uh, you know I just want to thank those that have been supporting us to this very point in time guys I'll say what I usually do you have a good afternoon take care of your loved ones and as always bye for now